Hey there guys, our new anime begins on a stormy night with a woman holding a child, she wanted to hide this baby so she left him in front of a church. And many years passed out and our protagonist grew up, his name is Akuto Sai, but at station he saw a granny in need of help so Sai gets to her to help out with her luggage. It was rather heavy so Sai wanted to help her out but there Junko saw that and in mistook Sai for a thief and hits him pretty hard. So her granny explained to her that Sai was helping her out so she apologized, they both were heading towards the magic academy, Sai was a transfer student there. So Junko thought Sai wanted to be a government worker because it's easy for students to get government jobs after graduating, but Sai tells her he actually wanted to become a high priest. So Junko also told him that she's from the Shuera religion and desires to be a seeker of justice, they both had difficult dreams to fulfill so they hit it off and became friends, then, so far. Things were going nice and smooth for Sai to begin his new life, Junko showed him around the academy and then she left, then Sai gets to fill out some extra info. And teacher Mitsuko leads Sai to a crow spirit that tells health conditions of students and their future, so Sai was confidant for his future to be a grand priest. But instead the crow told him he's the future demon king, a complete opposite future he desired, but it's for the future, as for now, Sai will be enrolled at the academy. But Mitsuko tells Sai to be on alert from now on because someone with a strong sense of justice might come after him to kill him or at least bully him to the point of making him commit suicide. Then she took Sai to his class and she's the homeroom teacher, there Mitsuko appoints Junko as class representative, but suddenly, Hiroshi nominated Sai to take Junko's place this year. But Sai thought Junko would hold this against him so he volunteers to be a janitor instead, it was a pure thought. But the whole class freaked out because a job of janitor was where the person destroy everything in the academy. So that hits Junko and she got angry thinking Sai was toying with her and challenged him to a duel, but when Junko attacked our boy. Sai casually grabbed the sword but something inside of Sai blasted out of him which caused a nice explosion, with Sai displaying his power like that. It impressed Hiroshi and he becomes Sai's sidekick, so taking this chance Sai wanted to apologize to Junko and wanted to go to girl's dorm. So Hiroshi tells Sai to sneak into her room from the back because the demon king will cause a commotion if he shows up in girl's dorm. But that just backfired yet again and now the whole girl's dorm thinks Sai wants to violate Junko, Junko gets angry and wanted to beat up Sai to a bloody pulp. But while running away he bumps into Kina, there Junko found him out and Kina shields Sai, but Sai unknowingly activates his power and unleashes a massive blast that beats Junko once more. But there a girl comes out of a portal, she's Kiron, and she's a government agent, she came to keep an eye on the future demon king, but she's actually an android. Principal didn't have any problem with any of them staying at this academy, because he gonna become a demon king in the near future not now, then. Mitsuko borrowed Sai for a while to understand what caused that mana explosion, so Sai tells Mitsuko that he doesn't have any control over his mana. Mistuko understood his situation and told Sai that he has very high levels of mana that he can't control, and as a result, it blasts out whenever he thinks he's in danger. And there's nothing he can do, then she gives him a student book to contact anyone in the academy, and on another day, Fujiko graced Sai with her presences, she's girl's dorm leader. But she's rather gentle with Sai. So he asked Fujiko to act as a mediator to help him make up with Junko, so she called him out to the back of the forest. But Hiroshi misjudged the situation and thought Sai was going to get graduate and become a certified man, so Sai leaves from there immediately to escape yet another misunderstanding. But he has to leave Kiron behind too, so Fujiko had told him to pull the tail she had on her back, but while trying it out something hits Sai and there comes out a demon dog. There Sai didn't want to hurt it so he absorbed the mana from him and turned it into a normal puppy, but that puppy caught Kina snooping around naked. She makes herself disappear and there Kiron saw Kina's bag but that gave an opening for Sai to pull out her tail, he turned her off, and Fujiko comes out right after that. She told Sai that she will talk to Junko on his behalf to make things up between them, but as for the other thing, she heard that Sai wanted to be a janitor. But Sai told Fujiko that he didn't know that position was that terrible, so Fujiko told Sai to join the disciplinary committee, Sai agreed to that. And then Fujiko gave Sai a love gun to use it with Junko, after that Fujiko left and contacted Junko, Fujiko told Junko that Sai wants to meet her alone. Junko was perplexed as to why she was helping out Sai, so Fujiko told her that Sai had threatened her to act as a mediator, and hearing this, Junko agreed. Well, Fujiko was plotting something to make Sai her loyal slave, 
So she set up a trap for him and told him that she had set up a meeting at the school basement after school with Junko. So he pulls out Kiron's tail to turn her off again, then he gets to the basement of the school to meet Junko, but some punks hit him hard from the back, but they won't get the second chance. Sai takes out a few punks, so they thought they could force Sai to submit to them by showing they had Hiroshi, but their plan didn't work out so well. Sai saved Hiroshi and pins down on their leader to find out who told them to target him, but Junko saw that and thought Sai was attacking those poor guys, she was a believer in justice. So she went off to prepare something to fight against Sai, so first Sai took back Hiroshi and patches him up, but then the other day, Junko prepared the entire academy to kill Sai. They all started ganging up on him and cornered Sai from everywhere, and Junko wanted to kill Sai herself, but Kina comes in between and tells Junko to drop the act. She knows that Junko likes Sai and told her to get along with him, so everyone believes on Kina's word, so Junko stops her act and moves to Akuto's side. And there Kiron fired a blast of rice that puts everyone into a good mood, Kina had mixed the bullet she found in the gun that Fujiko gave Sai. So Kiron tested it out and discovered that bullet had the power to make anyone fall in love with Fujiko, so Sai had no idea what she was planning. Then, on another day, the class was going on for mana practice, but no one wanted to pair up with Sai, so this time Junko comes forward to be her training partner to train for controlling the mana. But Sai still didn't hit control over his mana and caused yet another blast, Sai was depressed that everything he does always goes wrong. So Mitsuko suggested some mana mental training in mana disciplinary chamber, so Sai takes her advice and packed up all the necessary things. But along the way there was a rubber bag Mitsuko suggested Sai to pack it along, but on the other side, Fujiko also heard this about Sai so she was planning to pull out some strings to get Sai. As for Sai, he gets to the chamber and Kiron joined him there, Kiron was being a distraction but she was not the only one, Kina also got in just to give him some food. But the door closed before she could leave, but right outside, Fujiko brought another love gun and was waiting for the moment when Sai comes out. But inside Sai was completely uncomfortable with the situation with two girls on both sides, but there he found a map engraved on the wall, it was a treasure map and Kina was excited. Sai then goes into a corner to start his training, but Kina got an urgent nature's call so Sai gives her that rubber bag to relieve herself. But no way Kina wanted to do that embarrassing stuff in front of Sai and started to stomp on the door to call for help, there Fujiko opened the door. Hoping Sai would fall onto her arms but saw Kina runs out desperately, but she dropped that map which Fujiko saw and she got serious looking at it and took it with herself, and after that, that map was posted throughout the academy, so Fujiko assumed it was Sai's doing and became enraged, but Kiron showed it was all Kina's doing, and believing on this map. Many students tried to follow the map and ended up in a rough shape, so as a disciplinary member, Sai forbids the students to go after that map, so others started to hate him even more. And there Hiroshi assumed it was all made by Sai and the winner of this treasure game would become his servant, he made the misunderstanding even worse. So Sai tried to explain it but Eiko grabbed him out and told Sai to prove the others by clearing out the map himself that it's not made up by him. So Sai agrees to stop the other students and there Fujiko gave him a gun for self-defense but Eiko joins him on this quest as well. But what's at the end of the treasure map and why is that Fujiko was so interested in this map, find out in the next part of the video. And for that subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest update, till then take care.